Good morning, guys. So, we just finished up with delivery. I've uh, just been messing around with the truck. My, steer, my shifter knob came loose again. It happens every few months. The, the locking nut will vibrate itself down and cause the, the handle to break loose. It's no big deal. I end up pulling the boot Let down, pop the lines hand. off, tighten the handle down as tight as I can get it. Sometimes the, uh, the high low range lever ends up in the back of the shifter instead of the front, but it still does its job. So just hook the airlines back up to wherever I get it tight. Uh, I just got it back in the position where it needs to be, got it tightened back down. And yesterday I broke my bumper can't really see it I know where it's broken it's you know in the back in the back of it and I can wiggle it around a little bit there was a just a snow pile from the the place that I delivered the plows to um, it wasn't a big snow pile it was just a little tiny snow pile I knew it was there I intentionally nudged up to it just straightening myself out uh, but I didn't realize the, the snow pile was like a rock. It was just that, that cold. So uh, it ended up putting a little pressure on the bumper and it snapped the, the plastic off in a couple spots. Just from the, I mean, that, that part of the bumper was already broken, but it just, I broke it more. Uh, so I'm going to have to get that replaced next year. Um, but it was knocking out my mitigation system. Uh, and without the mitigation system, I don't have cruise control. And I like using my cruise control. So I just pulled the cover off. I thought there was going to be more than that. But there was just a little sensor there with a plug. So I just wiggled the plug, made sure it was nice and tight. Um, put the cap back on it. You know, took off. I think there was a couple leaves in there. Uh, and I just wiped the dust off of the inside, put the cap back on, and now she's working again. Um, the 60 miles that I drove that I deadheaded to pick up this crate, uh, I just turned the whole mitigation system off. And then when I left there with the crate, it was working on its own, and it worked all the way up here. Uh, it stopped working right after I right after I got in the parking lot. Um, but either way, it's working again now. So eventually, I'd like to just get the whole thing disconnected. But uh, we'll see what happens. I know when I talked to the mechanic uh, last year. He had hooked it up to the computer and it said that the cruise control was turned off. But the cruise control was turned on through the mitigation system. So I think I just have to have them turn that where it says that it's turned off, I need it turned back on. Uh, I'll have to go to the dealer or somebody with a computer for that. Uh, he wasn't able to do it at the time because uh, the... Uh, their Freightliner system was down and they couldn't they couldn't make a change like that without getting the okay through Freightliner. So it's just uh, one of those big pain in the butt things. Anyway, we are heading to Worcester, Mass. Worcester. Wor Worcester. However the heck you want to pronounce that. Um... Picking up, he just told me it's like a couple crates, a couple pallets. Um, told me it was a couple pallets or something like that. 20,000 pounds, no tarp. It's uh, 160 miles or something like that. Maybe 180 miles. Going to... Uh, Leeds, Maine. I'm gonna try to get it off today, but might not be able to do it until tomorrow morning. Uh, it's 
not paying the grade is 670 bucks or something like that it's actually three dollars a mile but uh three dollars a mile loaded and then i'm deadheading right back down to the same area to rochdale mass picking up another load there tomorrow morning and that goes to tawanda pa um which is back down by where i where I got that crate. Uh, and that delivers on Monday. So between the two loads, it pays almost $1,300. But it drops me down with going home, I think it drops me down to like $1.40 a mile between the two and going home. Before going home, it's like a dollar seventy a mile. It's uh, nothing to brag about. Nothing that I'm happy about, other than the fact that neither one of them require tarps. Um, and I get to go home for the weekend, so it beats deadheading straight home from here. And not making any money so it's not the best pain but it's it's better than nothing anyway we're gonna get over there all right here we go four pieces not that big of a deal little tight area that we're at here though Let's see here All right, we are done with this load. Um, now we just have 197 miles to head back down to Rochdale. Uh, tomorrow morning we'll be picking up forklifts. That's all it tells me. I don't know what kind of forklifts. I don't know if they're new or used or... Uh, if it's like a regular warehouse forklift or if it's like a um, top of my head I can't think of what the heck they're called but the, uh, the ones that have the the long stretch the, the, the boom that stretches out so I don't know we'll find out in the morning right now we are heading down I think we're going to go to the TA in Greenland, New Hampshire. Uh, it's probably the best place to go. I'm assuming they want me there 8 a.m. tomorrow. No, pick up at 1300 tomorrow. I did not see that before. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, uh, I'll let you guys know. All right. We made it to Greenland, New Hampshire, to the TA. Uh, it took one stop up there in. Proceed to Lewis the highlighted route. Lewiston. Same place I used to go all the time with uh, Schneider when I was delivering the Walmart DC up there. I used to uh, take the Procter & Gamble up to the uh, the Walmart DC uh, and then I would go to the truck stop like right down the road there. Uh, I stopped over there real quick, grabbed the sandwich from Subway. I was going to try to find a Walmart because I'm all out of my groceries here. Um, Now we just get to pretty much sit around all day and do nothing. Well, for well, we got a little bit of the night. It's only it's all it's already it's already seven thirty anyway. Um, no, seven fifty. Sorry. Uh, but we've been here for an hour, a little over an hour, and uh, just been watching YouTube. Actually, just mostly been watching driven trucking. 
Uh, I realized that he was also a Mercer driver, so I've been trying to uh, catch up on his videos and been uh, enjoying them. Um, yeah, that's all I got for today. We have 96 miles to drive in the morning, so we basically knocked out about half the half the mileage. Um, no, it's not going to show me. Nope. Uh, I think it was 100 miles down here, so it was a total of like 197 miles or something. Um, I think that's what it was. Um, it's like right back over there in Worcester where we picked up this afternoon. But I can't pick up until... I think it was between 1 and 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You are out of hours of service driving time. So I'm basically not going to be leaving here until... Yeah, one o'clock. So I'm not gonna be leaving here until I'll probably leave here about ten. Ten, ten thirty. Get over there about about twelve o'clock. Twelve thirty at the latest. Um well, I'll get up in the morning, take a shower. I have uh I don't have any shower points here at the TA, but I still have like twenty dollars in credit. So I'll I'll use the thirteen dollars or whatever it is of credits towards the shower. Um, that's it. Tomorrow we pick up and then we go straight home and leave Sunday. I'm going to leave the house probably Sunday night and deliver down into Wanda, PA. Um, which is like right down off of 86. I know there's a Sari Sari PA or something like that. Sayer, S A Y R E. Um, that is that's also Pennsylvania, but it's it's like right there off of 86 and then Tawanda's just south of that so we'll get down in that area Sunday night and then deliver first thing Monday morning I don't have anything set up for Monday yet I am looking uh, hopefully we can find something to accept uh, before the end of day tomorrow but we'll find out so thanks for watching guys, stay safe and we will see you tomorrow.